bloody bastard. Why is this the image that comes to mind when people hear the word Tourette's? This speech will concentrate on three key factors, dispelling the myth about Tourette's, the diagnosis process, and the effect it has had on my life. As soon as people hear the word Tourette's, they make a snap judgment as to what the person must be like. A socially awkward, inappropriate individual that cannot control what they say. I hate that. Has anybody here heard of or seen Tourette's Let Me Entertain You? For those of you that haven't, here's a TV show that aired a while ago, allowing people that suffer with a disability to come forward and shine in their musical ability. I was rejected due to my lack of musicalness. Musicalness isn't even a real word. Mother said they were just jealous. I was diagnosed with Tourette's age 10. Previously to this, I had a twitch, which had been put down as a nervous disposition. But it had recently gotten worse. So I went to the GP, who referred me to a specialist. What they didn't tell me is that it was a specialist in medieval torture. This Goliath, this Goliath woman stormed into the room, not breaking eye contact, even to blink, as she picked up this mallet and proceeded to whack me with it. Her excuse for this was, and I quote, to test my reactions. What? You wouldn't kick your cat and then just say to the vet, it's all right, just test its reactions. <laughs> After this, I was marched into a gloomy prison-like room with examination written on the door. By now, I was already clenching. I thought I was going to get probed. But no. An MRI scanner waited me behind that door. Anybody here has ever had to have an MRI scan, you know the ordeal I was about to endure. You get strapped into this bed with what's seemingly a washing basket stuck over your face. You know, like the ones your mum or nan used to have when you were little. After this, you were just stuck in there for 45 minutes. I'm a very claustrophobic person, so this for me was hell. After this, I was simply told I had Tourette's, and there's nothing they can do about it, as the medications for it have bad side effects, including involuntary movements or sounds. What? I mean, really, that's like having a weight loss tablet that makes you gain weight. I would say that the positive effects of me having Tourette's outweigh the negatives. Yes, I sometimes cannot control my movement. And yes, people do take the mix sometimes, so what? But in having Tourette's and its accompanying effects, it's made me a stronger individual with more patience, more empathy, and more tolerance for others. At the end of the day, I wouldn't change that for anything. So as a final thought, I challenge you to help me dissipate the urban mess of what Tourette's is inside of today.